Logan Paul was talking about on the Schultz podcast flagrant was a load of baloney. He was making it seem like him and his fiance, soon wife to be, Nina Agdow, didn't give a fuck about Dylan Dennis's consistent, constant trolling. It wasn't affecting them. I think Logan Paul actually said the phrase, it's made our relationship stronger or something like that. It's actually made us stronger. Um, I knew all about this before. It's not a bother, blah, 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 which kind of echoed my thoughts because I thought it didn't make much sense why everybody on the internet was like wanking over themselves that Dylan Dennis was exposing this girl for being a, a hot blonde girl that other guys might be into and she's a model and shit. So all the pictures kind of made sense. It's like, yeah, she's a very desirable young lady if you're into that sort of stuff. She went out with fucking Leonardo DiCaprio for goodness sake. Um, it makes sense why guys will be into it. And then I found out through my comments, a big up my comments for correcting me. The reason why everyone was laughing at this was I didn't know this, but the reason why was that I think Logan Paul on an early episode of Impulsive, or maybe it was an episode that he did when he had his fiance on, she confessed or she told a story about how she made Logan wait. And she made it seem like she was this very you know prude type of young girl who didn't want to give it up so early and wanted him to kind of earn it and it had to be something that was you know whatever she kind of gave the impression that she wasn't as sexually experienced as maybe the picture suggests she was which is why everyone was freaking out and i'm like oh that's what makes sense of the internet's going crazy because when didn't start dropping all these pics it kind of didn't marry up with how she presented herself on the podcast i still don't think it's an issue i still don't think it matters like i said She's a, a girl in her, what, mid-20s, early 30s, probably. She's been a Victoria's Secrets model. She's blonde and skinny. Like, guys are going to be into that. Like, most guys are into that look anyway, in general. She's a model on top of it, so she's always going to be at a level of, of good looking. Like, I don't understand why guys think guy, girls like that will be virgins. But anyway, we digress. Logan said he wasn't bothered, and he said on the Schultz podcast, Flagrant, his girl's not bothered. Well, I guess they lied. Because, courtesy of TMZ, Nina Agdow sues Dylan Dennis over poor fight trolling, files for restraining order. So all that shit these guys are talking about, about not being bothered, about Dylan Dennis just being a fucking troll and no one cares what he has to say. I guess they do care because she's fucking, you know, she's fucking suing the guy and getting a restraining order on him, which, in my opinion, Dylan Dennis is like a top tier troll. He's like he's like a he's like a regular internet troll, but he happens to be, you know, a fucking crazy good level jujitsu guy, MMA fighter and stuff. But he's just a regular troll. Regular trolls, when you let them know that they've hurt you, they're just gonna keep going. So they fuck exactly. He won. They don't realize that he's not. He's obviously doing it to promote the fight. But he's also enjoying this every moment of this because he's a fucking troll. They don't understand how trolls work, which is odd because Logan's fucking lived on the internet his entire life. They've let him know that it's affecting them now. This lawsuit, even if he has to pay the money, it doesn't matter. He's won. He's fucking won because they kept pretending like they were above it all. He's being childish. They had like moral superiority, blah, blah, blah. When in actuality, Dylan Dennis's post have been tearing their household apart. And we knew it would because no one would want to see, even if you knew who your girlfriend was, it would feel a little bit like a gut punch. Even if you knew, imagine, you knew, imagine you knew your girlfriend was a fucking um, porn star. You've watched all her videos anyway because that's why you got with her. But then some guy keeps dropping pictures behind the scenes of your girlfriend looking friendly with every single porn star that she did stuff with and other guys it will still hurt your feelings a bit. So imagine if it's with somebody who, let's, 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 let's use the example that maybe, let's, um, let's run with the theory that maybe Logan didn't know Nina's entire history, which you're not meant to, innit? Like no normal dude is going to sit their girlfriend down or someone they're seeing and tell them, please tell me every single person you fucked. Tell me the number directly. Write them all down. You're not going to do that. No loser guy does that, right? You're going to be securing your own fucking masculinity and you're going to treat that woman like a queen no matter who she is. 
but when they come when it comes out like that it, it's gonna hurt especially when the internet is piling on it's gonna hurt so i didn't understand why they pretended it didn't hurt that's the thing i didn't understand why were they trying to act like it wasn't hurting their feelings early on they're trying to act like it wasn't a big deal they should have just let it be known early hey by the way this is hurting my feelings i'd much prefer if you don't talk about my fucking fiance just leave it to me that would have been a bit more understandable but they tried to act like they weren't getting hurt by it they were above it didn't that as it's a peon duh, 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 duh. and all he did was keep posting pictures of stuff of that's readily available online of her in, like you know of a public person and now she's suing him crazy it continues Dylan Dennis' incessant online trolling of Nina Agdal has driven Los, um, Los, um, Logan Paul's fiance to point um, to the point of both suing Dylan Dennis and filing a restraining order against him to make it stop. Agdal beelined in it to court on Wednesday to file the docs obtained by TMZ Sports, claiming that Dennis had posted despicable things about her more than two hundred and fifty times since his fight with Paul was announced uh, in the summer. <laughs> oh, Dylan Dennis is a fucking primo troll. 250 times, brother. Yo. Um, in her suit, she says she suffered humiliation, emotional distress, reputational harm, and ale um, alleging that one post Dylan Dennis made on August 11th in particular violated federal state laws. Um, what's saying here? Um, Logan Paul and have gone to the higher property camera. I couldn't even remember the ones. Da -da -da -da. Bitch move to go for your opponent's woman. Yeah, for sure. We know, Uche. It's a bitch move, but Dylan has been very clear that he is a bitch. He doesn't care. He wants to get a rise out of you. He's been doing this from the from the beginning. If you know Dylan Dennis' history in jujitsu and mixed martial arts as part of fucking, you know, Connor's team, you'll know that he's an ultimate troll. He's the one that made fucking Khabib jump out of the fucking octagon, if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't he the one that was trolling Khabib? Wasn't he the one that was getting on Khabib um Lamaka Meadows' nerves to the point where he jumped out of the fucking cage and fly kicked him in a crowd after he choked out fucking Conor McGregor? Like he can get under people's skin. He knows what he's doing. He's very good at pressing people's pressing people's buttons. Um, I just think they should have just knocked it on the head early doors instead of pretending they're above it and now look. It's, it it makes them look horrible. This stuff. This this fucking lawsuit. It just like especially with the trolls online. It's never gonna end now. Even if he loses, they're still gonna be posting pictures of it. You know that's what it does. It just you just kind of forever stamp the trolling. Anyway, she says as part of the post, Dylan, um, oh, hold on, what did I miss here? Okay, that's it, sorry. In her suit, she says she suffered humiliation, emotional distress, reputational harm, um, alleging that one post made by Dylan Dennis on August 11th in particular violated federal and state laws. Now, I don't know what that August 11th post is, but I've seen people throw out theories online. And one of the theories is that that, that August 11th post may have been the post that Dylan uploaded of um the girl what's her name Nina Agdal I think I've talked about it on on the podcast also she's in bed and she's talking about how how much she wants dick it's like an old clip and I think she's basically saying that that video was a video from her Snapchat archives and I guess she closed them or something and she's kind of alleging that the only way someone would have got a hold of that video is if they kind of hacked her account or something I think that's what she's trying to go with. That's what I've heard online. Or maybe it might be another video, but I've heard that was the clip that kind of sent her over the edge. Um, she says as part of this post, um, Dennis threw up a sexually explicit image of her that was taken from a romantic encounter shared with a person more than 10 years ago. Dennis posted the photograph entirely uncensored from his ex account without a plaintiff's con. Okay, I don't know what this post is entirely uncensored. I don't know which one, what one that is. Um, I don't know if I can find that out. Um, let's see if I can Google it and see what that one is because I want to know what that picture is that she's talking about I don't remember seeing an explicit picture of her because that picture of the person giving the random person head that wasn't her, that was some person that kind of looked like her um, Nina Agdal Dylan Dennis I'm going to put August 11 August 11 let's see what happens when I do that on Google maybe I'll get hit because I'm interested to know what that picture actually was. Um, does it tell me? It probably won't, will it? I want to see what that picture is. 
Da, 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 we don't know. Okay, I don't know what the picture is. Maybe I'll find out later. Um, let's continue. Um, there's them soon to be married. The the one thing I don't want them to do, please for the love of God. But you know these people care about their image more than anything. I hope they don't call off the engagement. I hope they don't call off the wedding. I really don't. Because I can see it happening because they're, you know, they're celebrities and Logan is very image conscious. I'm sure she is also. I hope they just let it blow over and, and ride. Because if they called off the wedding because of this trolling, like, he, they will never be able to live that down. Logan can't already live down the fucking suicide forest stuff that happened in Japan. So this will be up there. Hope they just, like, ride it out, you know, keep each other fucking whatever, hold each other down and they'll eventually get over it but if they cancel the wedding <laughs> fucking hell mate dylan dennis will go into the hall of fame of trolling um the 31 year old model claims that dennis only agreed to delete it after misfit boxing oh so it's been deleted threatened to cancel the fight unless he took it down agda added that the suit that many of dennis's or other posts have upset her including a tweet he made on, on august the 28th that she showed a video that she says showed a video of her from more than six years ago where she talked about desire to intimacy in the period of celibacy okay cool so it wasn't that so it's another clip so i'm talking about something else um there's the fight it's quite a good lineup to fight to be fair you know ksiv tommy fury will be a good fight and logan paul with Dim dance like, both of these fights have a lot to lose for each person you know it's gonna be fun she claims in a suit that the vid had been stored deep in her Snapchat archive, just in that Dennis had hacked her personal account or of or had obtained private video from someone who had done so. She's asking for unspecified damages in the suit, but wants no less than 150k per violation. Hold on, is she asking for 150k per video? Fair play, Nina. Okay, hitting where he fucking hurts, isn't it? 150k per video she was at per, per, per violation if it's per video that'd be fucking great um as for her tro she's asking the judge to bar dennis from posting sexually explicit images of her going forward in the wake of dennis's repeated threats to release further images that could damage or to agdal's reputation um but you can't do that though that's impossible isn't it when they're all public um you know they're all publicly available and you're a public figure yourself how can you ban somebody from posting pictures of you on online that are already available on google uh for dennis's part um he's been unapologetic over the post um throughout the past last few weeks saying that he's been helping promote his up and coming fight dennis to the twitter to comment on the lawsuit saying nina agda has filed a massive lawsuit against me she filed a restraining order against me and is seeking prison time so the fight is in jeopardy if i'm in jail this is actually wild, but I won't stop. Fuck the system. What come get me? Logan Paul is a dead man walking. There's no, there's no reality, or there's no scenario where, because Dylan Dennis is really small. There's no reality where Dylan Dennis beats Logan in this fight, is there? Logan's gonna fucking destroy him, isn't it? Right? Is that right, or am I wrong? Do we really think Dylan's gonna win this fight? Or is this just like part of the trolling just to kind of make the fight interesting? Is he actually going to win? I'm very dubious about that, to be fair. I don't think so. But maybe he could. Um, but yeah, fuck the system's hilarious after you've just been trolling the wife of your opponent who has nothing to do with the fight. You know, him saying fuck the system reminds me of Andrew Tate guys talking about the Matrix when they've been accused of like you know human trafficking and shit it's like uh bro that's not nothing to do with the matrix you have to explain all this shit first that isn't the matrix you know <laughs> um okay he's not that small um mma johnny's saying okay maybe i'm just he looks smaller than he actually maybe is um logan's going to ko dylan says ko uh yeah i don't know I'm sure under this context, they could make a case. Yeah, I saw someone say that. Someone said something like, if you kept posting repeatedly on somebody's public Instagram after they blocked you, you keep making new accounts or kept posting on their on, on, on someone's public Instagram, they you could get a restraining order put on you because you're harassing them. Just because somebody's a public figure and they've got a public Instagram doesn't mean you can repeatedly keep communicating with them even through pictures if they've told you to stop 
So maybe there's a, a bit of like, you know, there's a bit of wiggle room there. So let's see what happens. Um, Floyd is much older and smaller than Dennis and still won without trying. Yeah, true. That's a good point. Am I one of the only people here that believe like Jake is a better boxer than, than Logan or has me personally? I don't know. I've always thought Jake's better. I know some people don't believe so, but I've always thought Jake's better. He's, he's kind of clear. And he's not even that good, uh, but I've always thought Jake's better. Um, if, you're, if you want your partner's entire career is being a fame whore, being prov provocative, is not a choice into the contract, then Dan is a shit bag next level, but he's just called him a tiny dick man. So, okay, cool. Fair enough. Um, let's see. Jake is way better. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so people agree. Because I always thought, like, why do people think Logan Paul's better at boxing? He doesn't really look that good in the ring. Obviously, aesthetically, he's fucking, he looks like an animal. He's cut up to shit. He's super big and tall and shit. He's got a good like physique in terms of you know proportions and shit, long arms and whatnot. But he's not really good at boxing. When you actually watch him box, he looks a little bit, looks very young, gangly and unconvincing. Whereas Jake looks like he could put, he could really hurt somebody, which he has already anyway. But Jake looks like he could really, he could really hurt you. Um, Logan's been denying taking PDs. Hilarious, yeah, true. Uh, Logan's pivot to WWE. Yeah, L Logan's pivot to WWE. He looks amazing in WWE. He definitely has taken to that like a fish to water, mate. He looks fucking phenomenal in there. I can't even deny that. 